Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of One Man Stream. In today's episode we're going to continue talking about central control and what we're going to do today is we're going to create a PTZ camera controller uh, using a stream deck along with central control and it's very straightforward and I think you guys are going to find it interesting. Uh, before we get started today I just want to remind everyone that we are doing a Studio Max license giveaway thanks to Joe and the folks at Central Control. Uh, they have donated a Studio Max license key for us to give away and we're going to do that in a live show on February the 29th. We're going to do that 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I hope you guys join us uh, for the live drawing. If you get an opportunity, please stop by our website. That's uh, onemanstream.com, and that's where we have the tutorials that we've done along the way uh, during this series, along with uh, many of the UTC controllers that we've created in this series as well. So if you would, please stop by onemanstream.com. But let's go ahead and get into today's topic. Today's topic is Central Control PTZ Controller, and this is One Man Stream Episode 86. So to get started with, what we're going to do is we're going to go on over to Central Control. And this is what it looks like in Central Control uh, when you open it up uh, to create a new project. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this Add Device. We're just going to type in PTZ. And I do have my PTZ uh, camera connected via my NDI network. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on uh, NDI PTZ Control and click OK and you can see where it brings in that module. Generally, if you click over here on the left-hand side, it's going to bring you up a control panel uh, with the features for this particular module on the right-hand side. So under NDI device, let's go ahead and click the drop-down menu. And this is all the NDI sources that I currently have uh, connected on my network. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one right here. And this is my P200 camera. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn that on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in our Elgato Stream Deck. And we have uh, several different flavors here, but the one that I have is the Stream Deck XL. So I'm going to click on that and click OK. And you can see where it brings in the Stream Deck XL. We'll click OK again and it's added to our project. So let's click over here to the right. And from the drop down menu, I only have one Stream Deck connected to this computer at the moment, so I'm going to go ahead and select it. And I'm going to leave these other settings where they are. And I'm going to turn that on as well. And this is what the Stream Deck looks like. And I'll be showing you this off and on uh, as we start mapping the controls in Central Control to the Stream Deck. So let's go back to Central Control, and I'm going to click on Controls here. And I always like to use this function right here that says jump to control because when I turn that on, anytime I push a key on the device that I'm trying to map, it's automatically going to pull up the information for that key. So let's go ahead and we're going to click on this one right here and you can see where it goes to button three. Since I only have a couple things in this setup, it automatically uh, defaults to the NDI PTZ control. And what I'm going to do is that button I just pushed we're going to call that one Tilt Up, and then we're going to click Plus, and you can see where it brings in that control right there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click out of this, and I'm going to go down here to where it says Set Feedback. I'm going to click on that same button again. It takes me to button three, and right here under Text, I'm just going to type in Up, and I'm going to get out of it. Let's go to this view right here. And as you can see, when I typed in the up, it came into that button, button three, and it put up on the key. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this key right here, and I'm going to push it. We're going to go back to central control. I'm going to click on controls again. I'm going to push that button, and it goes to button 19 on my Stream Deck XL. We're going to call this one tilt down. And then we click the plus button, and it brings in that command. So we're going to X out of this going to come over here to feedback. I'm going to push that same button again. It takes me to button 19, which is the one we just put the command in. And right here under tech, I'm going to type in down. And I'm going to X out of it, bring you back to this look right here. You can see when I tilt it up, you can see the up and the down. So let's see if those commands actually work. So let's click on the up button. And you can see how we're slowly tilting up. 
Let's click on the down button and you can see how we're slowly tilting down. And if you recall, all we have going on right now is central control. Within the central control setup, we have two modules, the NDIPTZ control and the stream deck. That's it. And I'm going to show you my desktop. And if you look right down here, you can see, and, I, and I've got a fairly decent computer here. This is an i9 uh, with a uh, 3060 graphics card. And you can see right now, we're only using 3% of the CPU, or actually 2% now. And of the total resources being used, it's only 4%. And I do have a few other things going on because I am using vMix to record. So those are those first two buttons. So now we're going to go back to the controller. Let's go ahead and tilt this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this button left, this button right, and then over here I'm going to create some store and recall preset buttons. And then over here I'm going to have zoom and wide. So let's go ahead and put those buttons in. So we're going to go back to our controller and I'm going to click the one button that I said I was going to make it say left. So I'm going to click on my controls. I'm going to click on jump to control again. I'm going to click that button. It goes to button 10 and we're going to call this pan left. So I'm going to click plus and then we're going to go to the other button that I showed you where I said it was going to be right. I'm going to click on it. You can see it goes to button 12. We're going to call this one pan right. I'm going to click OK. Now on this one here, the one that I said zoom, we're going to call that zoom in. So I'm going to click on the button. It highlights button 17. I'm going to click on zoom in and I'm going to click plus. Then the button underneath of it, I'm going to click on that. Button 25, I'm going to click on zoom out. I'm going to click plus to add the control. And now let's try some preset. So over here, I'm going to use this row right here for store preset and this row right here to recall preset. So we're going to set up three, uh, I'm sorry, we're going to set up four presets right here. Preset one, two, three, and four, and this is going to be recall preset one, two, three, and four. So let's go ahead and set up the first button. I'm going to go ahead and push on this one right here. It brings up button number seven. I'm going to click on store preset. Now over here, we got some indexes we have to work with because we're going to be doing this. We're going to be making four. We can make as many as we wanted to, but we're going to make four. So this is going to be preset one. So we're going to click on the plus button right here. We're going to go to the next button underneath of it. This is button 15. We're going to go up one. We're going to call this index two. We're going to click on the plus. We're going to go to the one underneath it. We're going to go up one digit. We're going to call this preset three. And then we're going to go to the one below three, which is button 31. We're going to increase our index by one. This is going to be index four. And we're going to click on this plus button again. And now we have another store preset. And this one is for index four. So let's go back and name some of these buttons that we've created. This one right here is the one that we called Zoom. I'm going to go to the controller. I'm going to click on the button. And then I'm going to set the, set the feedback. I'm going to click on the button again. It takes me to button 17. And we're going to title this one Zoom and X out of it. Then the one underneath of it, I'm going to push on it. And we're going to call this one Wide. I'm going to X out of that going to click on the one over here for preset one and I'm just going to call this one store one. I'm going to go to the one underneath of it. I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to type in store two. I'm going to X out of it. I'm going to go to the one below it. Click on it. I'm going to type in store three. And then that last one, I'm going to push on it. It brings up button 31 and I'm going to type in store four. Okay, now we're going to do the, the recall preset. So I'm going to click on this button right here. I'm going to go to set feedback. I'm going to press right here. It brings up button eight and we're just going to call this recall one. I'm going to go to the one underneath of it. We're going to call this
Recall 2, and you can see that brought in button 16. We're going to click on the one under that, button 24. We'll call this Recall 3. And then we're going to click on the one under that, and we're going to call this one Recall 4. So now we need to go back to the controller and we need to put in the recall preset command. So we're going to click on jump to control. I'm going to click on the one that we just made recall one. We're going to come over here and click on recall preset. Make sure this is set on one because we're recalling preset one and we're going to click plus. Then we're going to click on the recall two button. That brings us to button 16. We're going to change the index to 2. We're going to click on the plus. And now we bring that command in. We're going to click on recall 3. Change the index to 3. Click on the plus button. And we're going to do the same for recall 4. That's button 32. Click the plus button, changes the digit from 3 to 4, and then we're going to click on the plus button. And this is our controller. We created it very quickly. You can see where we have up, down, left, right, zoom, wide, and then we have the recall feature. So let's just see if, if this thing works. So let's go to one of the, the recalls. So let's click a recall 2. And you can see where it zooms in. It gives you a little bit better look. And then we'll go recall 3. And that's going to zoom out to this wide shot right here. And then we're going to go recall four. And that's going to take you to that right there. But let's go back to the original one. And you saw how quickly that was. There weren't any shortcuts or anything we had to do. All we had to do was go to the button, find the command we want, change the index on some of them and click the plus button and then that's all we had to do. It was very quick and very easy and as I showed you it uses very very few uh, resources. Well let's go back and look at the control surface just for a little bit and here's all the commands that are available. You can dis, uh, disable device, enable device, iris up, iris down, we use the pan ones, set course, set fine, Set your focus mode. You can go between uh, autofocus and manual. Set the iris, set the recall speed, how quickly it goes from one of the set uh, shots to another one. You can set your white balance. Uh, we used the store reset. We did the tilt up down. Uh, we used the zoom in and we used the zoom out. So you saw how easy it was for us to make a very simple controller uh, using just central control. And it's with hardware you probably already have at home. And you can see that we didn't even use half of the buttons. So even if you had the smaller version uh, of the Stream Deck, it would work out just fine for this project. That's going to conclude our tutorial today. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching. If you like what we're doing here at One Man Stream, please give us a thumbs up and a like. Make sure you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. And uh, make sure that you do stop by our One Man Stream online store. Uh, where we have um, the graphics that we've created along the way during this series, as well as the VMX UT UTC controllers uh, that we have created. Lastly, I do want to remind you once again about the Central Control Studio Max license giveaway that we're going to do on February the 29th. Uh, that's going to be live. It's going to be at 6 p.m. Eastern, and I hope you guys will uh, join us for that. If you go to our website, onemanstream.com, there's a tab there that says uh, Studio Max License Key Giveaway. Just click on that tab, and it'll tell you exactly what you needed to do in order to get enrolled for the giveaway. Uh, I think so far... I have somewhere around between 60 and 70 entries, so your odds will be pretty good. And there's still a lot of time for you guys to go uh, to onemanstream.com and register. As always, thank you so much.